G'day campers, Brent from Outback Equipment here. Today we're going to have a look at the AeroHeat Lithium Ducted Tent Heater, as well as some of the accessories that go along with this guy. Alright, so straight out of the box we've got the unit itself. Um, being that it's a lithium, it's got a bit of charge in it, but we do recommend to charge these up before you head away. Comes with the duct, which is you know the main piece of this unit, which makes all the magic happen. Uh, it also comes with a 12 volt charging cord and the instruction manual. All right, so this guy here with all the accessories comes in at about eight and a half kilos. Uh, the duct here from anywhere between 0.4 of a meter to a full meter long, it just extends out like so. All right, so this guy here is about 440 long. Uh, you know, it's about 160 wide and about 380 high and all in all. Uh, it's actually the same dimensions as the aqua heat lithium from the same guys, uh, which is a water, a hot water shower. This guy can go up to about 60 degrees in temperature. Using the companion gas canister we got here, you can get up to about nine hours runtime out of this guy for one of these full cans. You get about four and a half hours out of a single charge with this guy. All right, so now we'll just put it together and we'll get it fired up. As you can see, it's got lock and unlock on the duct. That is a crucial part. So this guy here sits on the front. Uh, make sure you get it square on. So we're gonna stick it on and we're gonna lock it into place. Big thing about this is there is a safety switch on the front there, so if this duct does fall out, it is gonna turn the unit off. And then from there, you can basically put the duct wherever you need it to go. You can zip it into your tent. If you've got a little power port on your tent, you can slip it straight in there. Austral has actually made all of their tents to suit this unit with their port. Um, so you can plug this straight into the tent, into your swag, into your rooftop tent, um, you know. Good bit of kit, goes in all those guys. Now we're gonna flip her around. So we'll keep the duck going this way, but we're gonna flip her around. We're gonna put the gas can in here. So you can run these from the 468 gram gas cartridge as I've got right here, or you can also purchase a gas hose to go into a nine kilo bottle or a small three and a half kilo bottle, or you know, a smaller bottle with a three eighth fitting on it, uh, both available on our website. So we're gonna use the can today because uh, we don't have a big gas bottle. So we're just gonna use a whittle one. Uh, I'm gonna stick her in here like that. It's all on the fingertips, you know. All right, now that's in nice and tight. Another big thing with this guy, you wanna make sure that there's no gas leaks. So always check for leaks before firing one of these guys up. All right, so now we're gonna fire the unit up. Uh, first up, we just hit the power button like so, and this guy is on. So from here, we basically press the fan button and it turns the fan on, which you can, you can hear fire up. Listen to that. Right away, it's, you know, pumping at the middle setting, so you can turn it down and you can also turn the fan up. All right, so now we've got the fan going on this one. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press the fan button again. This will start the igniter and that's lit. So now this one's gonna start to warm up so they don't throw out heat immediately. Um, it does take the burner a little bit to actually get up to temp and, and start pushing some hot air out of there. So a massive feature on this one here is that it is also Bluetooth connected. So Companion has an app for this guy, really simple to use. Uh, all you have to do is basically make sure the unit's turned on. It'll connect to the Bluetooth automatically on the phone. The app is available on the App Store and Google Play. So it's just as simple as turning the fan on from the app. That guy will fire up there. You can grab the wheel here and you can adjust the fan level. Turn it right down. And then from here, you can also turn it on. It'll prompt you to the, if you're ready to start heating. Yes, we are. Gonna fire up. And then we're heating. So from here, once it's hot, you can still adjust the fan temp. Um, also, big tip here, guys, if you're sitting in your tent and, uh, and you want to, you know, turn the heat off, it's getting too hot, but in the middle of the night, you also want to be able to turn it back on in case it gets a bit too cold, uh, simply by turning the heat off and then turning the fan off as well, which it'll do it automatically. This guy will go into the standby mode, uh, and then at any point in time during the night, you can just grab your phone and you can actually just turn the, the heater back on, get a bit more temp back into your tent and, uh, and go from there. If you do power it off from the app uh, using this button here, um, you won't be able to turn it back on from the app. You will have to get out of the tent and actually turn it back on at the button. So the last thing you wanna do when you're nice and cozy in your tent is get out and have to mess around with getting the heater fired up to get a bit more temperature in there, um, especially, you know, places like Victoria and stuff like that. Uh, up high in the mountains where there's snow, all that kind of stuff. The team at Companion know what it's like to go camping in cold conditions. Uh, so they've gone ahead and set up the app to make it as easy as possible to keep warm at night with this one. Do keep in mind, this doesn't work miracles. So it's not gonna like dramatically increase the heat inside your tent. It's basically there to take the chill out. So, you know, it stops your mattress from feeling wet. So the guys at Companion tested one of these down in Victorian high country. They tested the outside temp at two degrees. With this guy at full noise, it actually came in at about 10 to 12 degrees. I know it doesn't sound that dramatic, but you know, 10 degrees 
in the snow is massive. Keep in mind, the burner on this guy is set at one speed, but the fan isn't. So if you turn the fan speed down, you're actually gonna get hotter air coming out of the end of the duct here. But keep in mind, it won't fill the area as good as you would hope it would. So if you turn the fan speed up, the temperature that comes out will be slightly cooler. Obviously, you've got a lot more fan speed going over the burner. Um, so you'll get a lot more area warm, but it won't be as efficient as it is down low. So the best piece of information I can give you, or the best piece of advice I can give you would be to have a bit of trial and error. You know, try it on the low speed, try it on the high speed, see what works best for your tent setup. All right, so now we've gone over this one here. The perfect addition to this would be the actual bag. Uh, as you can see here on the box, it does state that it's an aqua heat and an aero heat bag, purely because, let me grab my aqua heat. They have actually used the same chassis between their water heater and their ducted heater. So the bags are the same, everything else is the same. You can use the same gas bottles. Yeah, aqua heat, good bit of kit. So we all know that the aqua heat is the best portable hot water system on the market. And this guy here will be the best ducted heater on the market. This guy right here is the only Bluetooth heater in the world. Uh, it's a market first and we get it here in Australia. All right, so if you like what you're seeing here, um, jump onto outbackequipment.com.au. We've got these up there. We've also got the bags and the hoses to suit this as well. Unfortunately, we don't have the gas cans on there purely because they're a dangerous good and we can't ship it, but they are available at our store in Acacia Ridge. If you have any questions about this one, hit us in the comments down below. Give us a like, hit us with a subscribe, and we'll catch, catch you in the next one. one.